today I'm going to show you why Christians shouldn't be celebrating Valentine's Day. Got two points I want to bring up. First off, it's worth noting that Valentine's Day is a pagan heathen holiday that comes from Roman Catholicism. It's a heathen holiday. It's not of God. This is from Wikipedia on Valentine's Day. It says, the Feast of St. Valentine was established by Pope Galicius in, uh, one in AD 496 to be celebrated on February 14th in honor of St. Valentine of Rome, who died on that day in AD 269. The date became associated with romantic love in the 14th and 15th centuries when notions of courtly love flourished, apparently by association with the lovebirds of early spring in the 18th in 18th century England, it grew into an occasion in which couples expressed their love for each other by presenting flowers, often confectionery, and sending greeting cards known as Valentines. So, it was a pagan holiday that the Roman Catholics, because Roman Catholicism is pagan Greek Roman religion repackaged. The pagan Roman Catholics they started this holiday of Valentine's Day, and you're going to you can read in Wikipedia they got it from the pagans. Because a lot of Roman Catholic holidays, like Christmas and, and that kind of stuff, come from paganism. Because again, Roman Catholicism is pagan Roman Greek religion repackaged. They take a lot of their pagan holidays and Christianize them. Roman Catholicism is a pagan, it's an abominable pagan perversion of the Christian faith. And Roman Catholics are not Christians, they're pagans. But what does the Bible say about observing heathen customs, observing pagan Roman Catholic customs? Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Kind of funny, it's kind of funny how it says, be, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Kind of like how the Roman Catholics uh, think they get, they have the Mary come down to them, the, you know, apparitions of the Virgin Mary, which is actually devil spirits coming down in the form of the Virgin Mary. There's nowhere in scripture did Mary ever come down as an appar apparition. It's pagan, again, pagan Roman Catholic tradition, because Roman Catholicism is pagan, uh, it's pagan perversion of the Christian faith. But you're not supposed to ha learn the way of the heathen, and in Roman Catholicism and their holidays like Christmas and Easter, uh, Easter in the sense of the Easter bunny and, and all that other stuff, uh, it's the way of the heathen. You're not supposed to learn that way. Again, Roman Catholicism is the way of the heathen. But secondly, secondly, notice how it talks about how Valentine's Day is a date for love and, and romantic relationships. Well, secondly, the next point is that Valentine's Day is a day of fornication and promiscuity. So not only is it a Roman Catholic heathen day, it's also a day of fornication and promiscuity. Valentine's Day is not just for married couples, but for unmarried couples who are in a relationship. Unmarried couples often use Valentine's Day as an excuse to commit fornication and be promiscuous as well. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 18. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. And a verse goes on to say, down below, that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. So why would you go out and be promiscuous and commit fornication when your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? No, you take care of your body. Because your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 1 to 2. Now concerning the things whereof he wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. So if you want to avoid fornication, get married. That's how it goes. That's how, that's how you avoid fornication. Not, you know, go off on Valentine's Day and, you know, be promiscuous and all this other stuff. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 3. But fornication and all uncleanliness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as it cometh saints. When you're a part of the body of Christ, you know, you don't let this garbage creep in. You don't let this promiscuous fornication creep in. You know, it's not supposed to be named among you. You're a saint now. You're, not, you're no longer a sinner in the sense of being in bondage to sin. You're a saint now. So don't let it, don't let it be named among you. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 3.
For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. So, you want to get sanctified, you want to further your process of sanctification, stay away from fornication, stay away from promiscuity, stay away from pornography, all this other stuff. So that, there you go. That's why Christians should not be celebrating Valentine's Day. First of all, it's a pagan Roman Catholic holiday, and it's a day of fornication and promiscuity. And again, your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. It's not just for you to go out and fornicate around and get an STD and have to go to the hospital and get treatment. No. It's a day for... It's Valentine's Day obviously is a day of, of pagan Roman Catholicism, but biblical love, proper love, is marriage. That's what you do. You know, you want to avoid fornication, stay away from promiscuity, stay away from Valentine's Day, and get married. That's what 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1 and 2 says, to avoid fornication, let every man have her own, or have his own wife, let every woman have her own husband. Paraphrasing, of course, you know, if you're a saint, you shouldn't let fornication be named among you, and to further your process of sanctification, keep away from promiscuity and fornication. So there you go. Valentine's Day is paganism. It is promiscuous. And it shouldn't be celebrated by Christians. Christians should not be celebrating pagan Roman Catholic holidays. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.